Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss. Good, Good morning, Miss Lynn. Good morning, Miss Lynn. Good morning, Miss Lynn. Everybody's okay? Yeah. Fine. You ready for your yeah. vacation? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <Yes. laughs> okay, today Are you we're ready, Miss Lynn. Huh? Are you also ready for your vacation? I am so ready, Adam. <laughs> I'm more than ready. <laughs> All right, today we're going to uh, review chapter six in the grammar, especially for the uh, online students. I haven't got a chance to do any uh, videos for them, so now it's a good time so we can all be together and do it together, okay? So we'll start on page 116. Hi, Hi. Huh? Hi, Slim. Hi, baby. <laughs> we'll start on page 116. I missed all of you this week. Me too, Miss Lynn. Okay, let's start with the principal parts of verbs. The four principal parts of a verb are the base form, the present participle, the past, and the past participle. For example, the base form hope. The present particip participle of hope is hoping. The past is hoped, and the past participle have hoped. Walk is the base form. Is walking is the present participle. Past is walked, and the past participle have walked. Sing is the base form. Is singing is the present participle. The past is sang, and the past participle have sung. Okay, just a reminder, don't forget to sign in for your attendance. All right, so we're going to start with exercise A and the underlying verb, you're going to tell if it's the base, uh, the present participle, the past, or the past participle. Uh, let's see, let me make sure everybody's unmuted. Okay, everyone can hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sam, would you like to do one through 10, please? <clears throat> Sam, can you hear me? At hand, can you do one through 10? Simon, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can answer. Okay, go ahead. Uh. Number one, it would be. Yes, Miss Clint. Uh, okay, Simon, one second, baby. Who will answer? Go ahead, Adam. Okay. Number one, it would be past participle. Okay. Number two, it would be present participle. Number three, it will be the base form, base form, sorry. Number four, it will be the present, uh, it will be the past. Yes. Number five, it will be the past also. Number six, it will be the past participle. Number seven, it will be past. Number eight, present perfect. Number nine, uh, base present form. Present participle. Yeah, a present, a present participle. Yes. Ah, I said perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Think it would be base form and the number 10, it would be present participle. Okay. Good job, Adam. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Uh, on the next page, regular verbs. A regular verb forms. Is past and past participle by adding D or ED to the base form. Examples. Leo wanted to see a movie on his birthday. 
the horse trotted to the gate. So in each of the following sentences, write the correct past or past participle form of the verb in parentheses. Uh, Samma, will you do one through 10, please? Samma, can you hear me? I think she's in the I don't think she can hear. <laughs> All right. Uh, she keeps saying on the group that she's muted. Sam, can you hear me? Okay. All yes, right. Who, can. You can hear me? Okay, bye. Page 117. Can you do one through 10, please? Okay. Uh, number one, Takara wanted. Number two, we have rolled. Number three, the Supreme Court has finally handed. Uh, number four, uh, Darlin traveled. Number five, uh, uh, have I answered? Number six, uh, Mulan had already applied. Uh, number seven, as the flag passed by, we placed. Number eight, we baked sweet potatoes. Number nine, have you wondered? Number 10, have you ever fished? Will you go ahead and finish, please? Okay, 11, do you think he has already tried? Number 12, the Buru kegged. Number 13, I'm sure he has uh, been employed. Number 14, the canary escaped. Number 15, uh, those children played. Number 16, many explorers have risked. Number 17, he searched. Number 18, when the little girl blew out the candle, she wished. Number 19, my aunt and my cousin dropped. Number 20, what time did you say they, uh, they arrived? Good job, thank you. Uh, Any questions on this page? No, no thank Ms. you. Mr. Uh, excuse me, can yes, you let ahead, Bumika Adam. in? I'm sorry. You let in? Can you let Bumika in? Yes, I just said that. Okay, uh, page 118, again, uh, an irregular verb form says past and past participle in some other way than by adding D or ED. An irregular verb form says past and past participle in one of these ways, changing consonants, changing vowels, changing vowels and consonants, or making no changes at all. Examples. The bird built its nest high in the tree. Robbie swam across the lake. I had thought uh -huh. so. The bubble had burst. So in each of the following sentences, underline the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Uh, let's see. Abdella, can you hear me? Abdella? Yes, Ms. Bumika, Ojo. can you hear me, Abdella? Yes, Miss, I was just me. Oh, okay. Would Would you do uh, from one through ten, please, on page one eighteen? Okay. Uh, number one is uh, we saw. Number two is uh, uh, sung. Three is uh, go back to taken. two, Abdella. Two is sing. Yes. Yes, uh, three is uh, taken, four is uh, sink, no, only one boat synced, synced, miss, sorry. No, no, uh, you had it right, sank. It was sink? Yeah, you were right the first time. Okay, uh, the ambassador had uh, given, okay. uh, Louisa brought, okay. many northern birds have flown. Okay. Uh, the members of the basketball team chose. Okay. Uh, how much uh, has the creek cleanup uh, cost? Okay. Uh, the mayor uh, rang. Okay. So. Would you finish it, please, Abdallah? Uh, okay. Uh, David became uh, Sean, Hassan, Mina, and I have written. Uh, today, Justin and Eileen uh, 
began their report. Uh, we drank uh, ice cold lemonade. We Ms. drank. Hatcher taught me. Drank. Four, sorry. Uh, Fourteen is drank. Okay. Miss Hatcher taught us. Uh, for the last two years, I have grown. Uh, as a result of her search, Jasmine told us, "Look what Nabil has found." Felicia did the whole report on her own. Miss Sick, can you scroll down? Miss Sick, can you scroll down? What was the last one I'm done? Yeah, uh, Felicia did, but I can't see number twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, as we watched Sammy uh, swim all the way back. Yes, good job, thank you. Thank you. Okay, on the next page, 119, also irregular verbs. Let's do uh, exercise A, change the verb forms given below. If the base form is given, change it to the past form. If the past form is given, change it to the past participle. Use have before the past participle form. Okay, uh, Debelina, can you do one through ten? Okay, Miss. Number one is have become. Okay. Number two is felt. Number three is taught. Number four is one. Number five is have rung. Number six is drew. Number seven is have eaten. Number eight is grew. Number nine is have written. Number 10 is have had. Good job, thank you. Ms. Okay. Lynn, excuse me. Yes. Um. Uh, number six. She she said to have drew. Oh, I only heard drew. Miss, is, is it uh, is it a have drawn or have? No, drew? no, it's drew. Yes, thank you. That's all. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Hannah, will you do eleven through twenty, please? Yes, of course. The committee held a meeting uh, to nominate candidates for president. Nina kept a long uh, a log as we worked out each stage of our group's project. Which clothes have you worn on previous camping trips? Although we stacked the firewood carefully, some of it fell out of the pickup. The afternoon has gone by too quickly. Miss, should I complete? Please. Yes, thank you. Has the president ever flown on a Concorde jet? Since lunch hour is over, Please be sure you have thrown away your trash. The Senate committee struck a bargain with the lobbyists. Lobbies, lobbies. The wool sweater has, has shrunk too much after being watched, washed. My aunt has given me a Christmas ornament every year since I was born. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Lynn. Okay, page 120. Again, we have irregular verbs. So you're going to choose the correct form of the verb in the parenthesis. Ritaj, can you do one through 10? Yes, miss. Number one, went. Number two, rang. Number three, uh, stung. Number four, uh, written. Number five, uh, strict. Oh. Number six. Number five, uh, it will be struck. Yes. Number six, uh, drew. Number seven, flown. Number eight, stolen. Number nine, uh, swam. Number eight, uh, worn. Yes, good job. Thank you, Rataj. You're welcome. Okay, on page 121, there are more uh, irregular verbs, but let's go to, let's go to page 123. I think we have enough irregular verbs unless someone doesn't really understand. Are there any questions on irregular verbs? 
No, thank you. Okay. All right, so page 123, tense. The tense of a verb indicates the time of the action or of the state of being expressed by the verb. Each of the six tenses has its own special uses. Present, I speak. Past, I spoke. Future, I will speak or I shall speak. Present perfect, I have spoken. Past perfect, I had spoken. And future perfect, I will have spoken or I shall have spoken. The progressive form of each tense expresses continuing action. It's something that you have done, that you're still doing, and you will continue to do. It consists of a form of the verb be plus the present participle of a verb. So in the exercise, change the tense of the verb in each of the following sentences to the tense indicated in parentheses. Cross out the verb in the sentence and write the new one above the original. Okay, uh, let's see. Bamiko, will you do the first 10, please? Can you hear me, Bumika? Yes, Miss Lynn. Okay. Uh, number one, I needed a hat. Number two, they uh, they uh, present uh, perfect. They uh, buy they buy a car. Okay, look up at the. Look up at the top, Bamika, for uh, present perfect. Yes, I can't see the top. Do you have oh, to stop? I'm sorry. I uh, they have uh, they have buy they have bought a car. Yes, correct. She will give a speech. Yes. Uh, number four. Uh, you had been gone home. Okay. Uh, we uh, we had eaten lunch. Number six. Okay, uh, wait, go back to five. Past, progressive. We had eaten. No. We ate lunch. No, who can help her? I can. Okay, go ahead. We were eating. Yeah, we were eating lunch. You understand, Number Bumika? Six. Yes. Okay. Number six. Uh, he will. He will. He will study for three hours. Okay. Future perfect progressive. He will be studying. No. Who can help her? Can I? Okay. Will have been studying. Yes, he will have been studying for three hours. You understand, Bumika? Yes. Okay. All right, number seven. Bameka, can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> number seven, by the way. I'm sorry. Yes. No, it's okay. uh, number seven, they sing in the core. Future progressive. Uh, future progressive. Uh, they will. They shall sing in no, the no, core. No, no. Okay. You had it right the first time. They will be singing in the choir. They will be singing in the choir. Yes. Uh, present, I uh, I am walking to the store. Correct. Uh, you hand me the book, uh, past perfect. Uh, you have hand me the book. 
Yeah, you had handed me the book. You had you had handed me the book. Correct. We will vote by tomorrow. We will be. <laughs> we <laughs> have a damn turn of your mic. <laughs> You you have to love online. Should I answer now? Yeah, number ten, baby. Uh, we will uh we will uh look at future perfect. Future perfect. Uh, I uh, we will have voted yes. by tomorrow. Correct. We will have voted by tomorrow. Should I continue? Yes. You do your homework. Uh, present. You do your homework. Present perfect. You. you present perfect present. You have been doing your homework. Correct. She brings the groceries in. She will bring the groceries in. Correct. He was leaving it here. Correct. Ross, can you scroll down? Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I raked the yard. I had raked the yard. Correct. We write letters. We will be writing letters. Correct. Good. She does the dishes. She she was doing the dishes. No, she will he, be. You almost had it the first time. Future perfect. She will be doing the dishes. She will have done. She will have done the dishes. Yes. The alarm rings early. The alarm rang early. Correct. She tells the story. She had been telling the story. Correct. The clock strikes one. The clock. The clock was striking one. Okay, go up to the top and look at present perfect. Now, here is they use have, but you can also use has. The clock has striking one. Has, has struck one. Has struck one. Yes. I throw the ball. I have been throwing the ball. Yes, correct. Thank you, Ben. Welcome. Okay, page 124, consistency of tense. Do not change needlessly from one tense to another. When describing events that occur at the same time, use verbs in the same tense. When describing events that occur at different times, then you must use different tenses to show clearly the order of events. For example, he turned around and spoke to me. Turned and spoke are both in the past tense. She thought she had locked the door that morning. Because the action of locking the door was completed before the action of thinking had locked is in the past perfect tense and thought is in the past tense. It sounds confusing, I know. But as you read the sentences, uh, I think the, the common sense of the language, you will know the correct answer. Okay, in each item below, one of the verbs should be changed to make the tenses consistent. Draw a line through the verb and write above it a verb that makes sense. For example, I was in my seat before the bell rings. Of course, the correct answer is, I was in my seat before the bell rang. Okay, uh, let's see. 
Miss, can I answer? Okay, one through ten, please. Okay. She had ridden a bicycle for 10 years before she starts to ride a unicycle. She started. Correct. She started. Uh, Carlos scored the winning point and the fans had shared with excitement. Shared. Yes. yes. You would cross out had cheered and you just write yes. cheered. Jared rushed into the room and stops to catch his breath. Stops is going to be stopped. Stopped. Well, why didn't he shut the window before he leaves the house? Leaves is going to be left. Yes. The cat twitched its tail once, curled into a ball, and quickly falls asleep. Fell asleep. Oh, no. Fall is going to be fail. Yeah, is going to be fail. Correct. Irina has already finished her research and wrote most of her report. Written. Yes. Guys, please stop talking. My mother came in, takes one look at the mess in the kitchen and sat down in a chair. Takes is gonna be took. Correct. Uh, we will need to return to return this book to the library after had finished it. Had finished is gonna be finished. Correct. The sailboat sank because its its hull breaks. Um, breaks is gonna be broke. Correct. After we drank the milk, we will eat all the apples. Drank is going to be drink. Correct. Mm -hmm. Do I complete? Continue, baby. Okay. Every day he takes out the, um, the trash, sweeps the floor, and wiped off the counter. Wiped is going to be wipes. Correct. I will sing the alto part if Weenie will have sung the soprano for uh, part. It's gonna will have sung. It's gonna be will sing. Correct. Thirteen. Cassie has dropped the glass of water when the door slammed behind her. Has dropped is gonna be dropped. Correct. The sun broke through the clouds shortly after the rain stops. Stops is going to be had stopped. Correct. You, in, in this sentence, either one is right. Stopped or had stopped. Mm. 15. On Saturdays, we usually visit our grandparents and ate lunch at a restaurant. Eight is going to be eat. Correct. Eat lunch. If you will bring this shirt to my house, I will have sued on the button. We'll have, we'll have sued is going to be will sue. Right. I think. That's correct. 17. He had been knocking on the door for 10 minutes before they open it. Open is going to be opened it. Correct. 18. I sought a safe shelter whenever I see lightning in the sky. Uh, Sod is going to be seek. Correct. Seek. You, 19, you either left your shoes on the front porch or had thrown them under the bed. Had thrown will be through. Correct. Through. 20, the chi child left, covered her eyes and has begun counting to 100. Has begun is going to be began. Yes, good job. Thank you. <laughs> well, Any questions on this page? Okay, let's go to page 126. Active and passive voice. Active and passive voice is very easy. A verb in the active voice expresses an action done by the subject. A verb in the passive voice expresses an action done to the subject. For example, 
in the active voice. Dorothy Parker wrote many humorous poems. The subject, Dorothy Parker, performs the action. In the passive voice example, many humorous poems were written by Dorothy Parker. The subject, poems, receives the action, okay? So in the following exercise, we need to know if the sentence is active voice or passive voice. Let's see. Whose iPhone? Is that Zaina? No, it's Farah. Farah Mahal. Farah? Okay, let's see. Jana Gouda, can you hear me? Chris, can you hear me? Yes, Muslim. Yes. Muslim. Okay. Would you take the first 10 and then, uh, Krish, you can take the last 10, please. Okay. Yes, Miss, yes. Okay, start with number one, Jenna. The new bill was presented uh, to co Congress by Senator Thompson. Uh, pa passive voice. Correct. Montreal was defeated uh, by Pittsburgh. Uh, passive voice. Yes. Low flying airplanes impaired our television reception. Uh, active voice. Correct. The delicate glass was dropped accidentally by Maria. Uh, passive voice. Correct. The novel Ethan Frome was written by Edith Wharton. Um, passive voice. Right. Uh, Excessive heat and a lack of rain renewed the crops last time. Ruined. Moment. Ruined. Um, passive voice. The picture is. Wait, wait, wait Jana. Past... Jana. <laughs> Go back to yes. number six, baby. Read it again. Excessive heat and a lack of rain ruined the crops last summer. Active voice. Active voice. Yes. Active. The pitcher is throwing fast curve balls, uh, active voice. Yes. The play Romeo and Juliet was performed by the drama class last week, uh, passive voice. Yes. The best actor award had been won by a newcomer to the screen, um, passive voice. Correct. Carlo Renelli was elected President of the Student Council by the Student Body. Uh, Passive voice. Yes. Good job, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Chris, we, will you do from 11 to 20, please? Yes, yes. Both of the boys finished the homework and our active voice. Yes. And what kind of cake has he baked for the party? Active. Hooray, we have been given another week for this assignment. Uh, passive. Yes. The deer trotted very early to the side of the highway. Active. Yes. Most of us have learned a little French. Active. Yes. Most of these stories were written in the 1920s. Passive. Yes. Did you take the, an early bus, passive? Yes. Announcements are ready daily at three o'clock, passive. My grandparents were raised on the cattle ranch, passive. Please take that wet dog out of the house, active. Yes, good job, Chris, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see how much time we have left. We might have time for one more page. Okay, the next page, 127. Again, using the passive voice. In general, avoid using the passive voice. Why? Because it's less direct, it's less forceful, and it's not as clear as the active voice. For example, passive voice. A motorcycle was ridden everywhere by Jake. In the active voice, the sentence makes more sense because it's more clear. Jake rode a motorcycle everywhere. The passive voice is useful when you do not know the performer of the action 
or do not want to reveal the form or the performer of the action, or you want to emphasize the receiver of the action. Example, Mabel was chosen May Queen. So this is to emphasize that Mabel was chosen May, May Queen. Okay, the following sentences are in the passive voice. Above each sentence, rewrite it in the active voice. Hannah, will you do the first five, please? Me? Yes. Or Hannah Haney? Yes, of course. All of us were given a tour of the ranch by my grandmother. My grandmother gave all, uh, it would be my grandmother gave all of us a tour of the ranch. And that would be your grandfather. <laughs> uh, grandfather, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yes, you're correct. Uh, number two, number two, the pictures had been developed by the new technician. It will be the new technician developed the pictures. Yes. Number three, these buildings were designed by a well-known architect. It will be a well-known architect designed these buildings. Number four, the words were looked up in a dictionary by the students. It will be the students looked up the words in a dictionary. Number five, we were driven to the movies by Jeff's parents. It will be Jeff's parents drove us to the movies. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, we're about to run out of time, so we'll end this session at this point, okay? And when we come back, we will begin on page 128, okay? Okay. Okay.